Since his brutal defeat at the hands of Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu, and the Tongans on June 28 is SmackDown, Paul Heyman has been noticeably missing from WWE television. Due to his denial of Solo's authority as tribal chief, the 59-year-old was demoted from his position as the wise man. Unfortunately, Heyman and Roman Reigns were not able to make their comeback to the WWE at SummerSlam 2024. Heyman was unavailable when the former Big Dog tried to phone him last week on SmackDown. Now we know that Kevin Owens, one of Reigns' major rivals at work, may have abducted Heyman and held him hostage. As a member of Roman Reigns' bloodline, the prize fighter is a formidable opponent in WWE. Cody Rhodes' support for Roman Reigns at the October 5 Bad Blood Premium Live event was the only reason for their fight. For the last four years, Owens has endured enough pain because of Roman Reigns' bloodline. Kevin Owens was the face of the company at the moment, while Reigns, in his heel character as the tribal chief of bloodline, had his men beat him up many times. The former Universal Champion hates Reigns and his bloodline friends for these and many more reasons. Kevin Owens may have abducted Heyman and be reluctant to release him in order to get vengeance on Roman Reigns. After turning heel at Bad Blood, Reigns returned to SummerSlam as a babyface. In contrast, Co remained a face. At this critical juncture in the bloodline plot, fans are eagerly awaiting Paul Heyman's return. Kevin Owens is also embroiled in a feud with Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. On next week's SmackDown, Paul Heyman may link Owens to Roman Reigns and the Bloodline plot. Owens can then post a video showing Heyman in jail, threatening to release Reigns from his grip until he gets his way. After Owens assaulted Randy Orton last week, SmackDown general manager Nick Aldis informed Cody Rhodes that Owens could not appear on SmackDown. After the fact, Owens made an appearance in a video where he claimed Aldis had contacted him and requested his presence on the program for the next week. I'm interested in hearing what Owens has to say about Paul Heyman. In a 5-on-5 Wargames match at the next Survivor Series, Wargames PL, on November 30, Roman Reigns' AUG Bloodline will face off against Solo Sokoa's Bloodline 2.0. Which group in WWE really represents the bloodline? And who is the true tribal chief? That's the question that would be answered in the match. Last week on SmackDown, Bronson Reed assaulted Roman Reigns, revealing himself to be the fifth member of Solo Sokoa's Bloodline 2.0. On this week's WWE Raw, Seth Rollins lost his bout against Bronson Reed due to Solo Sokoa so he could be the fifth member of Roman Reigns' clan. Reigns invited Sami Zayn to train with him against Solo Sokoa last week, but Seth Rollins turned him down. The visionary had brought up his problems with the OTC. Sami Zayn and the USOs tried to persuade him to come along once again this week, but he remained unmoved. Nevertheless, with this week's events on the red brand, Rollins may reconsider his choice. Perhaps next week he will make an announcement confirming his status as AUG Bloodline's fifth member. What if, in the history of the WWE, one of the most memorable events included the sudden abduction of Paul Heyman? After all, the company is known for its penchant for dramatic turns and surprising discoveries. With Roman Reigns' continued rule as the tribal chief, the narrative around his lineage becomes more intricate. Fans would be enthralled, and Roman's universe might be reshaped by adding a new element of mystery, Heyman being kept hostage. Let's take a look at the possible outcomes of this plot, what it may mean, and the unexpected turn that WWE could use to keep fans guessing. Roman Reigns has been in rivalries before. John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes are just a few of the legendary figures he has battled throughout his legendary career. Every conflict highlighted Roman's developing persona as the shrewd, domineering head of the table. Paul Heyman, however, has remained at his side through all of his increasingly personal and high-stakes plots, a guy whose oratory skills are equal to Roman's in the ring. Paul Heyman is more than just a special counsel. 
he is the architect of Roman's plans. But when Haman, the one who knows everything, disappears, what then? In a vulnerable situation, what does Roman do? A regular edition of SmackDown might be the catalyst for the plot. Among the competitors are Roman Reigns, Jimmy USO, Solo Sokoa, and Heyman, who make up the bloodline. The arena lights begin to flicker, signaling that Heyman is about to start his signature entrance. Heyman is seen bound to a chair at an unnamed place in a mysterious video that plays on the Titantron. Your downfall begins when the one who feeds your ego is silenced. The kidnapper's remarks shine through despite the distorted voice and covered face. Roman would be furious right away. For the tribal chief, who gets his kicks from maintaining order and dominance, the loss of Haman destabilizes his whole system. Paranoia sets up for Roman as the series unfolds and he begins to suspect everyone friends and foes alike of being involved in the kidnapping plot. At the same time, the mysterious abductor keeps teasing Roman via recordings, dropping hints that might lead to their identification. Major pay-per-view events, like as WrestleMania or Survivor Series, would cause the most anticipation in the weeks before the event. One of Roman's most legendary enemies, Seth Rollins, turns out to be the kidnapper. Rollins, who is no stranger to manipulation, has always had a sense of unresolved business with Roman. Betrayal and resentment are entwined in their past as erstwhile shield brothers. In this made-up plot, Seth admits that psychological warfare was his true motivation. It was his intention to undermine Roman's self-assurance by having Haman removed. This would reveal Roman's vulnerabilities and pave the way for Seth to regain control. Rollins would have several layers of motivation. At first glance, he might frame it as a matter of justice, assuring Roman that no empire is impregnable. Seth hates Haman because he was the puppet master who made Roman the dominant character, while others were sidelined. This becomes clearer as the story delves more. You believe you're invincible, Roman. But the reality is, you're nothing without Haman. Seth could confront Roman directly in a passionate promo, adding gasoline to the fire. He's the mastermind behind everything, the one who tells you what to do and makes you feel like a god. However, even the gods may fall, Roman. I will be there to ensure that you do. If Haman were temporarily removed from Roman's side, the situation would shift drastically. Roman would have to depend on his gut, his relatives, and his intelligence if he lost his reliable advisor. This weakness has the potential to cause friction within the bloodline, with Jimmy USO casting doubt on Roman's leadership or Solo Sokoa taking charge in Haman's absence. Also, without Haman, Roman would be able to express his humanity, his fear, and desperation for the first time in a long time. Fans have come to expect Roman's icy, analytical personality, but this plot has the potential to reveal more of his nature. No WWE narrative is ever complete without one of the trademark plot twists. Even if Paul Heyman wasn't completely blameless, what then? It may become public knowledge after his ultimate release that Haman had plotted his own abduction in secrecy. He would never betray Roman, would he? Power holds the key. The argument that Haman may use is that Roman became too reliant on him and would not give him credit for his achievements. Haman wanted to make sure that Roman and the WWE Universe knew how important he was, so he arranged the abduction. I constructed the tribal chief. It's a shocking change of events, but Haman might give a vicious promotional speech. It was my pleasure to appoint you as matron of honor. However, you seem to have forgotten the identity of the person who bestowed the crown onto you. To show you that you're nothing without me, I stripped you of everything. This turn of events would completely reshape the plot, driving a wedge between Roman and Haman and paving the way for fresh alliances and treacheries. There would be far-reaching ramifications for the storyline. The feud between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins would flare up again, this time with even higher stakes.
unforgettable bouts and promos would result from Seth's psychological manipulations and Roman's desperate attempts to regain control. Arc of Paul Heyman's Redemption Should the truth about his treachery emerge, Heyman has a choice. Continue his treacherous ways or try to make amends by teaming up with a new celebrity to depose Roman. Changes inside the bloodline The inner workings of the bloodline would undergo a sea change. Potentially challenging Roman's authority would be Solo Sokoa or Jimmy USO, who might assume more significant leadership responsibilities. Meanwhile, new superstars like Cody Rhodes, La Knight, or even a returning legend might step up and challenge Roman for the Universal Championship as he deals with the aftermath. This storyline is perfect for WWE since it has gigantic characters and plot points. There's a lot of emotion involved, and it's personal, too. Fans would be captivated by the enigma surrounding Heyman's abduction, the cerebral conflict between Seth and Roman, and the shocking revelation of Heyman's treachery. And it gives Roman Reigns, who has been WWE champion for a long time, a new perspective. The plot would give him more depth and make him more interesting by showing him vulnerable and struggling within. This would make his rule more interesting.